So how is it going, Dank Division? This week, we finally have Modern Warfare 2 will be dropping. So let's talk about the maps we will be seeing on day one. Now, how do I put it this way? 11 maps are going to be for 6v6, while you will have five for Ground War. So let's talk about it. So the first map that we have for 6v6 is one of the maps that, to be perfectly honest, was not among my favorites among the beta. The Breen Birch Hotel. Now, why did I not exactly like this? How do I put it this way? Everyone pretty much held this one high ground room and just held the corners. Didn't really move around the map all that much. And after a while, it just kind of felt stale, so you have that map. You, of course, have the museum. Which, for anyone who's played GTA, yes, it is based off of the exact same museum that's... Pretty much in LA. That's another one for the beta that we get our hands on. You of course have Mercado de las Almas of course comes back. In which case I personally like that map because of the small corners. I have a feeling that map has the potential to become something similar to what Shipment was. Then we have Tarak. Now what exactly is Tarak? Well, to put it lightly, that map pretty much looks somewhat similar to rust but a little bit more beaten to fucking hell in the middle of the desert now the next map that we of course have on the list is marina oh wait yeah you guys remember marina bay you know that map that was supposed to drop during the beta and got pulled well good news bad news or should i just say news in general marina bay was pulled and renamed Crown Raceway. Now aside from the name change, no one is really sure what exactly else might have been changed. Were the cars changed? Was any aspect of the map changed? Does anyone have footage of it when it was Marina Bay? And if so, what's the difference? Next, of course, you have Albagra Fortress. So how do I describe this little fucker? Well, Albagra Fortress just happens to be this nice close quarters area it kind of reminds me of this one map from model warfare uh the original model warfare where you had the horse statue in the middle i'm drawing blanks on the names but there's a lot of windows and a lot of areas where snipers can stick their head out and make your life a miserable hell i don't know if that's going to be exactly one of the better maps then you have the zagrua hydro elect now, what exactly is this one? Well, it's exactly what you think it is. It is a hydroelectric plant, meaning that there will be areas where you'll be able to swim, meaning you'll be able to use the water to your advantage and hide from your opponents, as well as fight around the hydroelectric area to pretty much gain the upper hand and beat your opponents to a bloody pulp. Now, this one originally in the beta was a ground war map, and we'll, we'll get to the ground war maps. But this one was out for one day and disappeared, but is once again returning. This time both as a 6v6 and a ground war map. Santa Senia border crossing. Pretty much right on the Mexican-US border, right where the wall is. Yeah, that's right. You'll be pretty much fighting people right at the border of the US and Mexico. And that can get real interesting, especially given that the version of the map that was Ground War, everyone predominantly fought in the middle, so I don't know how they're going to choose the layout for a 6v6 map. Then, of course, you have Farm 80. For those of you who didn't play the beta, this was the map where you had the incredibly close quarters campy area in the middle and the two longer range areas on the left and right. Predominantly, people for most modes that weren't, you know, kill confirmed and team death would hide in this middle section with shotguns, SMGs, you name it. They would not move for shit. Now what of course do we have next? Embassy. So this of course is, well, a US embassy that is heavily under attack. Now if you remember the embassy of course from Modern Warfare 2019, you can look forward to something very similar to that. And be ready because I'm sure there'll be areas where the glass is bulletproof as well as that the layout will include multiple layers to fight across. Now, the last of the multiplayer maps for 6v6 is El Asilo. 
So this one pretty much looks like a bar, or should I just say kind of a drug cartel hotspot where they would pretty much group up together, play pool, bunch of other shit. And overall, isn't exactly the best area of town. Whether or not this is going to be a larger scale map than just the bar, that remains to be seen. Then, of course, we have the ground war maps. Now, some of these maps, of course, are going to be repeats of the multiplayer maps as it was a smart decision to take multiplayer maps that are 6v6 and make them ground war as well. Now, you have one of the ones, of course, from the beta, Saeed makes its return, in which case, that was a city in the middle of bumfuck nowhere where you were able to just beat the ever-living shit out of people. A lot of high areas and buildings, but not high to the point where you can't get any kills or see your opponents, but high enough that you're having to keep your eyes open, not just in front of you, but above you. Then, of course, you have Saref Bay. Now, this beauty of a point was fun to play on. Now, why do I say that? Because it's actually the map that you see in the background. The beautiful water that you can hide in as well as the buildings off to the side. You're able to get a bird's eye view of none other than the Warzone 2 map. If you happen to grab a helicopter, like I did here, you can actually float up above the skies and get a good look. Pending, you don't blow yourself the fuck up. Now, of course, we have it that Santa Senya is actually going to be in the official launch. Now, originally, it was pulled, and we still don't know why, but thankfully, that'll be in there. Now, the other two maps are already ones I listed for 6v6, that, of course, being the Zagroa Hydroelectric, and, of course, the Albagra Fortress. So, with that being said, I want to hear in the comment section down below, what map are you looking forward to most? And I'll, I'll take it a step further. If you know all the points of interest for Warzone 2 and the potential of them becoming multiplayer maps, this includes Terminal, as well as various other spots, what map are you looking forward to most? And to be perfectly honest, which map do you think you're honestly going to see and immediately back out and re-queue because you don't want to play it? So if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button as we close in on Modern Warfare 2's official release for everyone. So with that being said, you guys have a wonderful day, night, whatever you're doing, do it wholeheartedly. And of course, as always, this is Dank Dan, signing off. Get them to click that subscribe button, Dank. It's the only way we can figure out the numbers. What did the numbers mean, Dank? We're wasting valuable time.